Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and team has come up with a new update. They just recently post one update on the LinkedIn and Twitter regarding the Arcade Premier League. Okay, so in this video, we will discuss about this. So basically what we have to do, we have to just complete the skill badges as we are doing in the Arcade Facilitator program. But in Arcade Premier League, there is a, some time limitation. Now let's discuss in detail. So first thing what we have to do, we have to just simply sign up for the arcade. Then we have to start completing the skill badges. And they already mentioned three skill badges equal to one point. But the new thing is here is we have to complete as many as skill badges in this period of time, like from 8th of May till 14th of May. And what happened once you complete any of a skill badge, you have to post on the LinkedIn with this template. Okay, so in this blank space, you have to just is the name of your skill badge and you can choose your favorite team okay and then you have to just link your public profile url like this now from where you can get your public profile url if you just simply come over here and open this profile tab and from here you can just get your public profile url okay now on the sixth point what they are saying the maximum number of skill badge shared by any particular team they will consider as a winning team and only 10 lucky participants will get the extra point for arcade and runner-up team will get a 2 arcade point and that's the thing now you guys have 2 doubts like how can I just find the skill badges and if I just already complete any skill badges will it consider as no if you just complete this skill badges between this period of time 8th of May till 14th of May then only it is going to be considered now let me just show you how can you just find the skill badges so first of all just log in with your credentials on the cloud skill boost okay then what you have to do you have to just simply click on this explore option okay now just wait a couple of seconds now in the filter option just simply choose quest then in the level just choose the introductory and in the duration choose one to eight hours now just wait the page will load and as you can see done now you will find this kind of quest now simply click on any of the quest like this And the main thing what you have to check this skill badge name so as you can see they already mentioned like skill badge so if it's mentioned as a skill badge then you have to just simply click on that enroll button here you will get one enroll button just simply click on that and just complete all the laps and once you complete all the laps you will get a skill badge sometimes what happen when you click on any of the quest you will get this kind of badge also completion badge so it won't consider as a skill badge so just make sure of that you have to complete those quests which mention as a skill badge okay you don't have to complete this completion badge okay i hope you got my point if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys